This morning we're here at uh, Walla Walla Vineyards with uh, Miles Anderson. And uh, Miles, it's a pleasure to, uh, to be with you this morning and meet you. Nice to have you here. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the history and, and how you got into the wine business. Well, Walla Walla Vintners was started in 1995 by my partner, Cordy Veneri, and I. And uh, we specialized in making red wines, particularly all six of the Bordeaux varietals, some Syrah and some Sangiovese, and also some Dolcetto. Okay. And um, we... Uh, produce about 5,000 cases of wine a year in a good vintage, and right. sometimes we don't have perfect vintages. And, and we were the eighth winery in Walla Walla. There are over a hundred wineries now in Walla Walla, and growing rapidly, and I expect that we're going to have probably 200 uh, very, very soon. Right. So what is probably the, the biggest change you've seen since 1995 in this region? Well, what has happened is that wine has become a principal commodity here. Okay. And uh, because of that, uh, the community has grown economically. And we've gone some, through some very poor economic times in, in America recently. But Walla Walla has not experienced that simply because of the wine that's here. And the first winery that, in modern times that has been uh, that was created here was Leonetti Cellars in 1978. And it's a, a, it's a magnet winery, well known, and uh, people from all over the world come here to taste and purchase their wines. Okay. And since that time, uh, we've had uh, a number of really small garage type wineries that have been created. And in 2000, we created the Center for Enology and Viticulture which is a degree program for an viticulturists and enologists. And we've had uh, almost 300 people uh, enrolled in degree track courses there. And we have 29 of our graduates who have created their own wineries. Wonderful, that's great, that's great. Um, tell us about the property where we are right now. What uh, is the acreage, how much is planted to, to fruit? And then what varieties are you growing here? The, the property that we're sitting on is a property that we purchased in 1995. There are four 20-acre plots here, okay. uh, owned by different people. Uh, and one of them, of course, is Leonetti's. Oh. They, they have a block here. Right. And uh, A. Maurice has a block here, and the Chan family has a block here. And this is all dry farmed. And, uh, in our particular uh, 11 and a half acre uh, vineyard, we have uh, two clones of Cabernet Sauvignon, two cl clones of Merlot, a clone of uh, Sangiovese, uh, half an acre of Petit Verdot, mm -hmm. and a couple acres with different clones of, uh, of Syrah. Okay. And in terms of, of style of Walla Walla Vintners, if someone had like never tasted your wine and you had to kind of impart uh, uh, on them, you know, the, the sense of what your wine is like, how would you describe it? What's your style? Well, our style is that it's, it's always expressive early, but okay. it's also expressive later in its life, mm -hmm. and it ages well, uh, and it has a lot of spice, uh, it's well balanced, and it has uh, a lot of curry, excuse me, uh, cherry noses, right. and uh, a lot of uh, uh, current uh, in our wines. And, uh, uh, and because they're dry farm, they're very intense and very concentrated because the yields are low. Okay. So we're going to taste some of that wine shortly, but before we do that, I'm, I'm going to ask you one, one last question, and that's the, the winemaking process. So, you know, who makes the wines here? Is it, is it you? There's a, there's a team of us that make okay. it. And right. uh, because when you're doing about 5,000 cases during harvest, you need a, a good solid crew that, uh, that will help produce it. Mm -hmm. uh, and at my age, uh, lifting is not my favorite thing to do anymore. <laughs> right. And so we, make, we train the people that uh, do the specific winemaking for us. We're around them daily. Mm -hmm. uh, I spend time in the vineyard tasting grapes to make sure that we bring them in at the right time. And so it's, it's a great team of people here that do that. 
Okay, so we're going to take a little break right now. When we come back, we're going to have uh, some wine lined up, and we'll go through a little bit of a tasting. Okay.